we're out here again. Today we are out in Nueces River. Uh, it's a chilly morning, it's 38 degrees. Water temperatures are good though. Uh, I can see activity already in the water. So we'll give her a try. See if you can catch us another big Bertha. So stay tuned and enjoy. For today, our setup are the double fluke rig right here. Hopefully we'll catch a big one on that. Uh, the mini rod will have the wacky uh, warm. Um, I'm always excited about the mini rod. And then the other one will be the spinner bait. Um, if not, we'll switch up and we'll start punching this grass or throwing a critter or a worm. If everything else fails, it's going to be sunny, so we'll see. But we'll give it a try. Stay tuned. So one of the questions I get all the time is why do you like fishing? <laughs> why not? <laughs> you get to enjoy nature. You get to see this. It's peaceful. It relaxes you. It gets you out of that work mode. It distresses you. And it puts food on the table if you need to. So, it's, it's been in my blood since I was a little kid. Just fishing all the time with, with the family. And then I picked up hunting, but why not? It, it's so relaxing. Uh, nowadays, life is so busy that you can't enjoy the great outdoors anymore I have to drive an hour at least to get to see something nice like this so whenever I get a chance I'm out here just enjoying it so peaceful nobody around just me a kayak and hopefully a few fish hopefully <laughs> check out that sky looks nice <laughs> All right, let's keep at it. Well, we caught our first one. The camera didn't want to turn off. <laughs> but it was a very subtle bite, and they wanted like a creature looking bait. So it's a nice, chunky one. them out. Yes. The wind picked up a little bit too so I helped out. Keep trying. I wonder if they stayed there all night. Or they went into the trunk. The tree trunk right there. But just don't move. It's really shallow though. That's so awesome. We're gonna move. They're just there. First one reacted. Sorry, I don't want to bother y'all for real. But I need to try the the mouth of the creek over there. So I'll leave you alone. Man, look at 
their tail a little bit. Oh, they're moving. They're moving. I don't want to bother you. So interesting. Oh, she went in. There goes the other one. Man, got big old feet. This is the back one. No, oh, that one wasn't afraid. There you go. It'll be so cool if I catch a fish while they're swimming along. Kind of slow though. Yeah, they got a place where they hide. Sorry guys, I interrupted nap time. <laughs> So cool, he's just chilling there. Oh, he's, he's gone. That's super shallow here. Oh, yeah. I'm going pretty fast and I'm already touching bottom. I don't know. I don't know. Even the kayak touching bottom. Let's <laughs> come up here. Let's check out what that is. It's like a jug line. He's just chilling there. I hope he doesn't like come to the kayak. He's one of them. Just chilling. He'll go back. I hope. Oh, there he is. They're all there. What? There's four of them. What? That's crazy. That's so cool. And that's why I love fishing. Well, we've gone in the cold streak since we caught that first one. It's been about an hour without bites. And we saw a lot of wildlife though. It's all worth it, as long as we're out here. Good weather. It's warming up, sun's out. Hopefully we'll fish will be out too. Munching. But the wind's blowing up, so we're gonna have to battle with it. It's all good, it's all good. Just keep at it. Keep trying and trying. I really want to catch something on top water. So I tied on one of my favorite top water lures that would be a buzz bait. I haven't thrown a waffle popper in a while, but buzz bait never fails, so let's give it a try. It's in the shadow on the bank between this little tree. What's lurking in there?
Oh no! He, damn it! He, no, I think he felt the hook. He barely dumped, he didn't even dump it, it was just like... <sighs> My kayak was moving, I didn't feel him. Do they move? He's loving that sun. And I saw a little baby one there. Went into the water. Oh, oh. Just got us one, guys. Oh, he has us wrapped up in something. Eee. Left me hanging. Oh, damn, so good. the same structure you know it came off of a big old tree and this one came off of that branch um. <laughs> so feisty still using the little crawl casting that I, I don't know if someone was being funny I took my rod out because it caught my intention there's a deer skull hanging from this tree they could have not used it as bait could they what are they thinking yeah what the hey Take this out. Wonder how long this is, has been here. What? And it's just not. 
Wow. This is a nice bug. It doesn't... I'm thinking it was this here. Doesn't look that old. That's a rare find, to say the least. It still has meat on it. Oh, yeah, someone's being either. I have no idea why they would leave it there. <laughs> this is so awesome. Look at that. Like, it just has a lot of moss. This is so cool. Oh, it's going back with me. This is a rare find. <laughs> I don't know why they would do it there, though. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm a nature lover, so anything I find is intriguing. And this is very intriguing. I don't know why they would do that though. Just gonna take all this junk off. I hope it was in poached or anything. I doubt it, because if it was poached. They would have taken the antlers. Check that out. Ah, oh, I just knocked a piece out of his skull. That's really cool. Alright. Go in the back of the kayak. Go in the fall out. I got it. That's so awesome. Oh, I'm comfortable. So awesome. I just, I don't know, I was like, what is it there? There was something just caught my attention. Well, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> oh, we'll continue fishing. That's a weird find.